Okay, this is part two of the cow catcher. I'm going to be um, creating the indents, the back, and holding it out. Okay. So you want to rotate it so that you can see this bottom part. Um, use the shell tool over here. It removes material from removes material from a part interior, creating hollow cavity with walls with specified thickness. Click that shell. You click this base, and then you click this top. Should automatically show it when you click the top here. The thickness should be 0 0.1. If it isn't, I'll already change it. And then you press OK. It should look like this. Now, theoretically, you don't have to click both of these. You only have to click the bottom. But I found that it kind of makes the dimensions a bit weird. So we'll just do this for now. It's, it's a little slower, but it works. It's done. Create a 2D sketch on this top part right here. This model. One. And you use the line tool. Oops. Go all the way around. Like this. Finish sketch. And extrude. See it highlights both of these. You want to you want to click on both. So you need to click on that one and click on this one. Make the distance 0 0.1 inches. Press direction 2. And press new solid. Press OK. Then you want to go over here to combine. See how it selects both of these? So I'm going to go over here to this combined tool. It performs a cut, join, and intersect operation on two or more solid bodies. I'm going to click this one, and then click this one. Okay. Now it recognizes this is all one shape. Oh. You have that hole. Then you want to create a 2D sketch. And see how you can select both of these? If you can't select them, then go back into the first part of the tutorial and make sure you did everything exactly how I did it. Otherwise, you won't be able to select these. So select one, rotate it so you can not see it, do the time, okay. zoom in, then you go over here to offset, it duplicates the selected sketch geometry and dynamically offsets it from the original. So you just click this line, see how it highlights in white, you go down, it doesn't really matter how far for now. And I'm done. I'm pressing D on the keyboard to dimension it. Take. It doesn't matter where you do it, just well, actually it does kind of just do it on the top and bottom. But from here to here, pull it out, make that dimension 0 0.1. It should automatically see how it did that. It should automatically just um, dimension the whole thing. And you press finish sketch, then you create uh, extrude it, extrude, select, make sure you select the center point, the center. Make it 0 0.05. Make it 0 0.05, so it should look like all oh, this. Should look like this. Then you want to press direction 2. You want to leave it red because you're creating an indent. Okay, direction 2. Press OK. So it should look like this. Okay, and then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh, it's all weird. So you create a sketch on this side. If you didn't get it before, then I'll, it, this is a complete review from the other one, so just watch this one then. Offset. Click on this. Hold it down a little bit. T for dimension on the keyboard. Put your next to this. Make it 0 0.1. Enter. Finish sketch. Extrude. Click on center. Make it 0 0.05. And then press direction 2. Press OK. And you should have this. If you didn't get that now, you should probably pause the tutorial or go back. Okay, so we have this. Now you want to go to the back, so you can see it. That's done. Then you want to create a 2D sketch on the back. Okay, now we're going to do little dubs that um, go into the train so it connects. You want to make three points, one in the direct center, and two at the sides on it. Okay, so I'm pressing D for dimension on my keyboard. And I'm going to dimension this this, uh, this point that point in the center. And I'm going to dimension to this point right here. See how I'm clicking that point? I'm going to pull it out, not up. You can pull it up and out, it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter, but pull it out. Make that distance 0 0.5. Okay? Dimension 
watching this on this point, at this point, is at 0 0.05. Then you want to mention this point to this bottom. Come on, you want to just go from the point to the um, line again, or the this point, the center point to this point, the edge point. You want to pull it up this time. You want to go straight up. Oh, it should, it, if it's not in the center already, um, I have it at 0.9, which is what it should be. But make sure it's at 0 0.9. And you want to click this tool, or this point, and you want to go from this point to this point, you want to pull it down, and you want to make it 0 0.625, okay, 0 0.65, do the same thing on the other point, pull it down, 0 0.625, then you want to click on this point, and you want to click on the other point again. Pull it to the left, not up to the left. To the left, to the left, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, make it 0 0.125. Press the check mark. Do the same thing on the other one. To the right. 0 0.125. It should look like this. You have all the dimensions. If you didn't get the dimensions, then pause the tutorial now and you will see all the dimensions of all the lines you want. And you press done, and I'll go ahead and delete all the dimensions so you can actually see what you're doing. Like this. Okay, so you want to click circle. You want to go from your center point thing here. And you want to go out, see uh, what it is on the Take a, ch a chamfer, and you want to click on this second one, distance and angle. 